Hello, welcome to another video. It's a travel video. There'll be food in it, I guess, and we'll go and find some food. But uh, yes, I'm afraid of travel videos, so welcome to all four of you. I'm in India. I just absolutely love coming to India. We very rarely get a decent time off here, but this time it's a five day trip and I'm in Bangalore, which is one of my favourite parts of India. We've had a really good uh, couple of days. Yesterday I did a cookery course with some uh, guys that was with and that was just fantastic. Taking the recipe, uh, well, I haven't got it in here, I've taken it all written it down and hopefully going to uh, try a few of the recipes on one of my camps, which hopefully will work out well. And today I'm getting the train. I'm going to a place called, well, I'm in Bangalore or Bengalaru, and I'm going to a place called Mysore, and that's also pronounced Mysuru. And I'm going on a train, and I've never been on a train in India before, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I don't really know what sort of ticket I bought either. It was all in some sort of weird code using this sort of third party app. Uh, hopefully, you'll just see now the uh, route I'm taking from here in Bengaluru and I'm on my way now to find my favourite tuk-tuk driver that uh, always looks after me. He's called Sammy and he says he's going to be outside the hotel gates which are there behind me and we'll see if he comes up with the goods and picks me up. So I'll speak to you from the tuk-tuk. <laughs> Sammy! <laughs> Say hello! <laughs> Good to see you. We're just braving the early yeah. Bengaluru rush hour traffic, which is, uh, I don't know if those of you that have been on a tuk tuk before, but they take no prisoners. So, yeah, you just have to close your eyes and bear it. And it's quite good fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man. I hope you like the music. We're here at the one of the Bangalore stations, and uh, the, uh, the tuk tuk driver Sammy, who's really reliable, says this is the right area for the Mysore train. He um, took me sort of under the tracks, and he says this is the correct direction. So. Fingers crossed he's got me to the right place, but I've got about 40 minutes to go and uh, we'll see whether he's right. Otherwise, I've got plenty of time to find the right platform. Right, here we go. What a place. It's uh, oh, there's some sort of digital boards up, which are pretty good. So I can have a look at uh, where my train is, and I think I can see it. It's the 20607 I'm looking for, and that's the one to Mysore, and it's even given me a platform. This is my platform, platform seven. I did expect it to be quite a lot more shoulder to shoulder, hustle and bustle. Um, but I think I've kind of missed the rush hour side of things. And I've got here stupidly early, but I kind of wanted to take it all in as well. So here I am, Bangalore Station. What an amazing place. I want to try and find some, um, some water. Um, so I've got this rucksack on that's got a bit of a kind of water bladder on it which would be pretty useful so yeah I'll just go out and try and find some supplies. These are my new friends. <laughs> came to say hello, wonder what video I was making and they've subscribed Hi. to the channel. Hi. So give a big thumbs up. 
सर स्वीट सर चैनल इज सो ऑसम एंड गुड फॉर ट्रेकिंग एडवेंचरिंग वाइल्ड लाइफ यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब द फॉर वाइल्ड लाइफ वाइल्ड लाइफ सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल वाइल्ड लाइफ चैनल इज वेरी बेस्ट आई एम वेरी हैप्पी विद यू गुड आई एम गेटिंग ऑल दिस न्यू सब्सक्राइबर्स यू सब्सक्राइब टू द यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज वर्किंग वेल I think I'm going to move here. That's six subscribers in about two minutes. I'll just come in, here, come here, and uh, hang around the station and just look British. <laughs> People coming over wanting to take selfies with me. They don't recognise the channel. They just, I think, uh, like the uh, idea of. Uh, a uh, westerner being here and it's, it's so, people are so welcoming so smiley and so kind it's just great fun so uh, right i'll get back to where my bit of the platform is without getting run over by a not so smiley uh, car driver and then we'll be on our way i hear various things about the trains here that uh, 10.15 can mean anywhere between 10.15 and 11 o'clock so I'm not holding up my hopes for an on-time departure but I'm, I'm already enjoying it I really am anyway I'll speak to you when the train comes in is it trains here the right carriage so see what it's like inside well this is a bit all right it's really really comfortable it's um I sort of picked one of the middle of the road prices. I didn't really understand what the codes meant, but yeah, I've got a footrest and uh, someone else's bag, which I'm a little bit concerned about because it was in my seat. But let's see how it goes. And it says lift for snack table. And I'll try and get some pictures for when we move off, which should uh, be quite exciting. But I think this is one of the more sort of posher trains because I didn't see any bits with open windows, um, so you might not be able to uh, throw a camera out the window and have a good look. But we'll. Uh, We'll just see how it goes. I'll let everyone sit down and uh, then do a little recce. It's all a little bit uh, busy at the moment. I was just going for a walk on the train and uh, they all started sort of bringing water and food around. And so I think I'll just let it get off to a proper start and then do some uh, filming from inside. But uh, still really exciting. <laughs> down this tray and I've just got some hand sanitizer here and uh, I'm hoping it's not a full-scale breakfast because I just had about four courses in the hotel plus in the night I had the remnants of what we cooked at the cooking course yesterday <laughs> so I'm not even vaguely hungry a cup of tea or coffee would uh, go down well but that's about all I can manage I've got some Oat digestives here, and that would be more than enough. But all part of the service, we'll see what happens. I thought I'd just take the opportunity now to have a little walk through the train. 
see what it's at. See what else we get. It still feels like air conditioned. And you see how we go. I'm desperate to desperate to hang out the window. But I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll have a little look out anyway. It's really nice, very sweet. Yeah, delicious masala tea. Skirts of Mysore now. I'm looking at the digital screen, it says it's got about five kilometres to go. So that's about three miles. Um, been travelling through some great countryside, loads of, loads of irrigation, loads of paddy fields, lots of crops, and lots of people working on the crops. It's been really great to just stare out the window. <laughs> the journey's gone so quickly just been fascinated by watching different lifestyles and I think there's an announcement coming now but here we go so I'll get ready to get off and uh, see what Mysore has to offer. Mysore station. Uh, the first thing I've got to try and find is a. Uh, <laughs> everyone keeps smiling at me. It's all right. First thing I've got to try and find is a charger for my uh, GoPro here. Not a charger, charging cable because I stupidly left it in the hotel. And the GoPros are notoriously bad for holding the charge. So I'll go and walk about and just try and find a cable. I'm sure there'll be somewhere where I can get one. I'm determined to walk to the palace but uh, at times there's not a lot of pavement and I um, feel like I'm taking life into my own hands so I'll see how far I get and then maybe give it a whirl with a tuk-tuk but at the moment I've just gone round in a little circle and I'm sure I'll find my way somehow. I didn't usually tell you where my first stop was, I don't think, but the place I'm aiming for, uh, first off, is called Mysore Palace, and apparently it's something to be believed, and I think I'm going in the right direction. Just whilst I've got you here on this quiet a bit, thinking about this YouTube channel, and I want to start making more videos about my trips abroad but they're not all going to be obviously camping bushcraft and so on quite interested in your thoughts whether I should start another sort of subsidiary channel maybe called I don't know Richard's Travels or something like that to separate it I know it mean again trying to build up a subscriber base but I don't want the sort of avid followers of this channel to go oh god here he goes again he's 
yeah, no. going to be looking around markets in uh, some obscure place in the world. Well, it's not all going to be markets. And I'm ah. going to try actually getting on the canvas in some of these places, in which yeah, case, let's say on this yeah. channel. But I'm just interested in your thoughts as to whether I should make a, a spin off channel from this, as many other YouTubers do. I mean, old Andy from Ken Survival's just done his e bike one and so on. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I don't mind starting from scratch, but uh, I, one thing I don't want is just people be clicking on this and going, you know, oh, no bushcraft. So I'll uh, put it out there, looking at starting a travel channel. Not, you know, not too touristy or anything, but just I'm really lucky in the places around the world I get to see, and therefore I quite like to share it. But it won't necessarily be what you're used to. So let me down, know in the uh, comment section below and we'll uh, see how to develop this maybe new part of the channel. Charger, so we're wired for sound. I don't have the uh, anxiety of running out of power. I should get some more batteries for this GoPro, but they're just quite expensive and I don't like to get the hybrid ones. I quite like to get the, the, the proper ones and they're a fortune at the moment. So, right, well, we'll keep going onwards towards the palace. I should be really on my way to the palace, but I keep turning down this little labyrinth of fruit market streets and it's just incredible all the different colours. Huh. Yeah. I've got my friend. Go go go. Me new pal. Like and subscribe. <laughs> This is my gift you. Oh, my gift? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's finished. That's that is, I make like this 10 different incense and 50 different natural oil. And like this. Wow. Lotus oil. Lotus oil. Indian national flower, lotus. <laughs> like this. Okay, I'll put this on the channel. Thank lotus. you. Lotus. Well, I made that little incense episode nice and short because naively I thought uh, that's just going to for a little demo, but he then came out with the hard sell of just about everything came out of the woodwork uh, statues and wooden objects and incense, and, and then got quite pushy about the sale. So that was a shame, but uh, I'm sure he'll. Uh, Probably not subscribe to the channel now that I made a hasty retreat, but there you go. I thought I'd have the place to myself, which, uh, <laughs> only kidding. Uh, well, this is the palace at Mysore, and I'm going to have a little, just look around the outside at the moment, and then I believe you can get a guide to show you around the inside. And I think I've got to go and see you in there, because it's a absolutely stunning building and you can see in the distance there the other gate that i went to first not knowing whether i could get in there so i've just come around the uh, the other side now and it's just it's quite a breathtaking building really know what I'm looking at here but uh, 
the main thing is I'm just hoping that no one treads on my toes. <laughs> Typical me choosing the Sunday to come here. Well, really I don't actually know where I am. I haven't found a guide yet, but just taking in this pretty amazing architecture. Well, there was a bit of culture. It's unlike me. I'm uh, not great for um, seeing museums, temples, etc. when I'm away. Certainly not on families, family holidays. Uh, this is outdoors. She's really into it and gets a bit frustrated when <laughs> we refuse to go and see some of the sights that she wants to see. The problem is, when she goes and sees all these historical um, buildings and so on. She insists on reading every single little bit of information about the place. So we're just taking in the scenery in wonderment and having to wait 20 minutes while she reads every plaque. <laughs> Bless her, she's an absolute sponge for culture and education and uh, it's, a, it's a good way to be. And I wouldn't swap it for the world. Right, made my way back. There's a a really nice sort of kitchenware shop that I want to get a couple of um, pots to do these curries. So it looks authentic. Hopefully, get them on the channel, and I'll make my way eventually back to the train. But I'm going to find somewhere to eat. It looks as I won't fill my trousers two hours after. <laughs> so let's go on another adventure. One. Only water. Only water. Thanks. Fifty. Thanks. Thanks. You make a good push crafter. <laughs> I was trying to film in a shop there, but you got a bit of a shitty on because uh, you're probably trying to charge me tourist price. <laughs> and it, it didn't work. But I've actually bought something I've wanted for a long time, which is a very, very small little rustic. I'll show you a little cutaway to it. A little rustic little pressure cooker, it cost me two pounds. So I think it's a bit of a bargain as long as it doesn't uh, depressurize quickly. It's made by a reputable company called Pigeon. <laughs> Probably use it on an open fire and just stand well back for the first trial. Going well. Just getting back to the station now. Good day out. I'll. I don't know what the quality of the train's going to be like on the way back. Um, again, I didn't understand the code, so got a really nice seat on the way here. I'm hoping it's a bit more rustic on the way back because I really wanted to just uh, not be a bit privileged like I felt in that um, last carriage on the way over. So we'll just see if I'll pick the um, kind of middle of the road fare on this one. Good. Here we are, and this is more like it. A little less, a little less modern. 
So I come right at the back of the train, I don't know whether that's good or bad. But it's uh, coach A1. <laughs> Could go two ways. Only when they're listed in descending order or climbing order. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't believe it. Only got a sleeper for a two hour journey. Well, this is neither what I expected or actually wanted, but it's it's different. It's um, a sleeper service for, I think this train, and I'll have a look, goes some considerable distance beyond Bangalore where I'm getting off. But it's, I don't know, it's, I, I kind of wanted the open air experience, but I'll probably have a travel down the train as it gets moving and uh, take a look around. But uh, <laughs> this is the sleeper service for a two and a half hour train journey. Uh, seems to be pretty empty at the moment and I think there's only 10 minutes uh, till scheduled departure. So we'll see what happens. I'll give you a little uh, look around. This is the uh, sort of upper part and this is my designated bunk here. Where I was sitting just down below there is um, a sort of a long bench seat and a little table. Um, I don't know whether I've got this bed and the seat underneath. If it isn't, I don't really know how they expect you to sort of um, eat food or anything like that from the sort of horizontal bed, but who knows? It's it's still pretty exciting and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> what fun. Good job. Right, well, we'll see what happens. I'll have a little, uh, when we get going, I'll have a little walk through the train and uh, try and find an open air bit to throw you outside and uh, get a good look at the countryside. But this is it for now. Okay. You get it during um, Bangalore to Mysore, a place called Madhu. Okay. They originated this many years back with uh, rice flour, with the uh, onions and deep fried. Very tasty, very crispy. So, and I should try it? Yeah. I will <laughs> give it a go. Okay, thank you. That's great. great. You'll be on YouTube. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I had no idea at first what I was buying there, but a very kind gentleman came and did a bit of translation for me, and it's a little sort of deep fried savoury snack. It actually smells like um, a bhaji of sorts, um, which smells really tasty. So here we go, this is my little deep fried delight, I can't remember the name of it, but it's really tasty. It's, it's very dry and it'd be nice to have a sort of dip with it, but Mm. I like that. Mm. Right, we're going to have a little look around in um, some of the other classes through the train. If I feel I'm like being a bit intrusive on people's privacy, then I'll stop filming because I don't want it to seem like a, a Westerner's coming through and, and kind of gloating the fact that I'm really lucky to spend the extra couple of quid on a sleeper class. I don't work like that, so uh, I'll try and be uh, discreet and uh, have a little run down the train. Oh, 
Well, we just stopped at a place called Madder. I'll just show you on the map where that is. It's a very different train, this one, than uh, the one came out, we came out on because the one we came out on just went directly from Bangalore to Mysore. So we seem to be stopping at every station on the way, which is great actually because it's really interesting. Um, everyone rushes the train with various things to sell, mostly food, and it's just the way the world revolves and I'm just loving it. I'm, I'm pleased that this is a slower train, you get to see a little bit more. People seem to just get out, stretch their legs for a couple of minutes and, uh, and just get going again. I think it's <laughs> really, really nice way to go. Anyway, we're in Madhur, so I'll look that up on the map and see where we are. Actually the train's about 30 carriages long so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try going any further. Sorry. No, I just feel like I'm interfering with other people's privacy and um, don't want to look as though I'm kind of gloating going through showing uh, all the uh, different classes but I'll try and get a little squint through the windows as I get off uh, into an empty carriage when we get to Bangalore but for now I'm going to go back and join a crunchy snack and uh, look out the window. Well that's probably about enough from me. I was going to do some filming, you know, getting off the train and <laughs> getting back on the road with my usually reliable tuk-tuk driver Sammy um, but he can't get to the train station because it's really really raining very hard there's a huge thunderstorm passing through at the moment and it's the beginning of the rainy season here so uh, it's, it's fairly dangerous to uh, try driving a tuk-tuk because he says the roads are flooded so I'll probably get an uber back from the station it's only about uh, a kilometer and a half so yeah I can hear it on the train and see it outside it's really raining pretty hard so if I put this down here and say that's about it for now please like the video and subscribe to the channel tell me what you think about me starting a different channel for the travel side of things but I hope you've enjoyed it all four of you that watch the travel videos that I do um, where's next oh, I'm gonna to Cape Town next I'm gonna try and do something a little bit more uh, adventurous and slightly more bushcrafty but we'll see how we do but anyway in the meantime thanks very much and I very much look forward to seeing you again